Tallahassee The Florida Supreme Court decided Thursday it is too soon to decide whether Gov. Rick Scott will be able to reshape the state's highest court on his last day in office. The ruling means there could be a constitutional crisis if Scott and his replacement both try to appoint replacements for three retiring justices. In a 6-1 to one decision, the court ruled a case brought by the League of Women Voters contending Scott doesn't have the power to appoint three justices who must retire by the end of his term wasn't eligible for review because he had not acted yet. Until some action is taken by the governor, the matter the League seeks to have resolved is not ripe, and this court lacks jurisdiction, the ruling states. The League brought the case after Scott said he has the power to appoint the successors of Justices Barbara Perriant, Fred Lewis and Peggy Quince, all of whom must retire by midnight January 7, 2019 the same moment Scott's second term ends. The state constitution requires justices to retire during the term they turn 70, and all three will be that age by then. Perriant, Lewis and Quince make up three votes of the liberal 4-3 majority on the court, so the decision of who gets to appoint their replacements could determine the balance of the court for years to come. Scott has been eager to appoint conservative justices averse to what he calls legislating from the bench. Scott hailed the decision. I am pleased that the court upheld Florida law today and dismissed the challenge brought by these political organizations, Scott said in a released statement. As long as I am governor, I will continue to use my authority to appoint qualified judges. During oral arguments last month, an attorney for the League argued that if Scott and his successor, the winner of the 2018 gubernatorial election, both claimed the power to replace the justices, it could tip off a constitutional crisis. The Florida Supreme Court has seven members and requires a quorum of five sitting justices to decide cases. If the outgoing and incoming governors picked different justices, who would decide which were legitimate? Lewis essentially argued the same point in his dissenting opinion. Contrary to Florida law and the general common law, the majority has now announced that the challenged conduct must have already produced a constitutional crisis and calamitous result before illegal acts of government officials are subject to quo warranto review or relief, Lewis wrote. Quince and Perriant agreed with the result of decision but issued a separate opinion stressing the court doesn't have to wait until Scott tries to appoint the justices to act. This is a breaking news story. Check back for updates. Giroir at OrlandoSentinel.com or 850-222-5564. Court denies Scott's call to remove Perriant from judicial appointments case. John Morgan recently revealed that he's left the Democratic Party and won't run as a Democrat for governor. John Morgan recently revealed that he's left the Democratic Party and won't run as a Democrat for governor. More than 100 proposals to change Florida's constitution are currently being vetted by the Constitution Revision Commission.